Myself, Milan Patel, Assistant Professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. In today's lecture, we will cover introduction of labeling survey, various instruments used in labeling, and lastly, we will cover temporary adjustment steps of the film. Let's start with introduction of labeling. So, first question comes in your mind is what is labeling, right? Suppose we take one uneven ground like this and our objective is to label this ground like this. For that we have to first mark the number of points on uneven ground and measure the relative height of different points of this ground. After measuring relative height of different points, we can make the profile of the ground and by doing this we can calculate the quantity of cutting and quantity of filling. After calculation of this, we can label this uneven ground into the level surface. Okay, So this is called as leveling. Let's see its definition. Leveling is an art of determining relative height or elevations of different points on or below the surface of the earth. This is called as leveling. It deals with measurements in vertical plane. Now, Let's move to the various aims of leveling or objectives of leveling. There are two main aims of leveling. First is to determine relative height of different points of the ground. And second, to determine undulation of the ground. For determination of undulation of the ground, we have to prepare the profile of the ground. Okay? These are the two main aims of leveling. Now, let's see the various applications of leveling where this leveling can be used. So there are a number of types of applications. First is to prepare a contour map which shows the topography of the area. What is contour map? What are the characteristics of contour map? What, what are the applications of contour map? We will discuss in the next lectures. Second is to determine the heights of points on or below the surface of the earth. Third is to determine or to calculate reduced level of different points. What is reduced level? We will discuss in the next lecture. Fourth is to prepare longitudinal section and cross sections of roads, bridges, tunnels or canals etc. Fifth is to determine the quantity of cutting or quantity of filling to label the surface in the earthwork and the last is to prepare a layout map for water supply line, drainage line etc. These are the six main applications of leveling. That is all about introduction of leveling. Now let us move to the second topic of today's lecture which is the various instrument used in leveling. Mainly there are two instruments are used, first is a level and second is a leveling staff. Level is the instrument which is used to measure the relative height of different points. Okay? A leveling staff has to do that. A leveling staff is having graduations in it starting from zero at the ground to the three meters. This level is of various types. Let us see the types of a level. First type of level is Y level. Because its shape is like Y, it is called as Y level. Second is tilting type of level. Third is automatic type of level. Nowadays, this automatic level is broadly used in leveling. Fourth is dumpy level. This is the basic instrument which can be used in leveling. Fifth is Cook's reversible level. Okay? These are the various types of level which can be used in leveling. Now let us move to the components of the dumpy level. Okay? This is the image of dumpy level and below is the tripod on which this dumpy level is attached by a screw. This is the structure of this dumpy level. We will understand each component one by one starting from the base. Here is the tripod stand as you can see on this figure. On the tripod stand we have to attach this dumpy level by screw. Okay? 
the bottom part of dumpy level is called as leveling head. In leveling head, three components are there, two plates and in between two plates, there are three screws are there. This combination is called as leveling head. Below plate is called as tri bed. Above plate is called as tri bridge. And in between, there are three screws are there, as you can also see in figure, is called as foot screws. This foot screws is help to level this instrument. Okay. Above this leveling head, one compass is attached, which is used to find the bearings of the lens. Above compass, a telescope is there having eyepiece and object glass. Eyepiece is used to see the object. Okay. One focusing screw is there to focus the object. Above telescope, two bubble tubes are there, longitudinal bubble tube and cross bubble tube, which help to check the leveling of this instrument. That's all about the components of the dumpy level. Now let's discuss the leveling staff. What is leveling staff? A leveling staff is a straight rectangular road having the juices like this. The foot of the staff representing zero reading. The purpose of a level is to establish horizontal line of sight by telescope. While the purpose of leveling staff is to measure the vertical distance from the ground surface to the line of sight. The purpose of leveling staff is also to determine the amount by which the station is above or below the line of sight. Okay, this is called as leveling staff. There are various types of leveling staff available in the market. Mainly it is of two types. First is self reading staff. It is the one which can be read directly by the instrument man through the telescope. In self reading staff, the readings were taken by the man which is at the dumpy level or which is at the instrument. Okay, this self reading staff is of various types. First is solid staff. It is a single piece of 3 meter like this. Its length cannot be adjusted. We have to take this 3 meter solid staff while traveling. Second is folding staff or foldable staff. A staff of two pieces each of 2 meter which can be folded one over the other by hinge is called as folding staff. Its overall length is of 4 meter but carrying length is about 2 meter because it can be folded. And the third is telescopic staff, a staff of 3 to 4 pieces with upper one solid and lower 2, 3 are hollow one. The upper part can slide into the central one and central part can go into the lower part. Each length can be pulled up and held in position by means of brass spring. The total length may be 4 to 5 meter. Okay? This is called as telescopic staff. Its length can be adjusted to 4 to 5 meter. Okay? These sections are the hollow ones. These are the various types of self reading staff. Now, let's discuss the second type of leveling staff, which is target staff. A target staff having a sliding target equipped with one near. It contains a moving target against which readings is taken by the staff man, which is having the leveling staff. For taking readings, the level man directs the staff man to raise or lower the target till it is bisected by the line of sight. The staff holder then takes the reading. What is the difference between self reading staff and target staff? In self reading staff, a person who is standing at dumpy level or level instrument takes the reading. While in target staff, a person standing at leveling staff takes the reading. This is the difference of self reading staff and target staff. That's all about instrument used in level. Now, let's move to the last topic of today's lecture, which is temporary adjustment steps of dumpy level. So, what is the meaning of temporary adjustment steps? These are the steps should be taken before taking the first reading by dumpy level. So, what are the various steps? First is selection of site for setting up the instrument. So, in this step, we have to find the site 
by which we can easily take number of readings. Size should be such that number of readings are taken by less number of setups. Okay. Second is setting up the instrument. After selecting the size, we have to set up the instrument. For setting up the instrument, we have to use tripod and a dump lever. Tripod legs should be firmly pressed into the ground. Okay, and it is its height is adjusted such that after installing dumpy level on it, it is exactly on the eye line. Next step is leveling the instrument. In leveling, there are two types of leveling: approximate leveling and perfect leveling. Approximate leveling is done by adjusting tripod legs. By adjusting these tripod legs, we have to bring bubble at the center position in bubble tube. Okay. After approximate leveling, we have to go through the perfect leveling. This perfect leveling is done by foot screws. For that, we have to first name these screws as A, B, and C. After naming these screws, we have to turn the telescope such that a level tube is exactly parallel to the line joining A and B screw. After that, we have to turn this screw A and B by our thumb, inside or outside, such that bubble in the bubble tube brought to the central position. After doing this, we have to turn our telescope at 90 degree, so that level tube is exactly perpendicular to the line joining A and B. You can clearly see this position. After this, we have to turn C screw in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction such that bubble in bubble tube brought to the center position. If we continue these processes one by one, we can achieve the bubble exactly in central position in bubble tube at any position of a telescope. This is called as perfect type of leveling. After perfect leveling, the fourth step is focusing of eyepiece. This is called as eyepiece. This is called as object loss. For focusing of eyepiece, we have to use a blank white paper. This paper is held exactly in front of this object loss. We have to see through eyepiece and adjust this eyepiece screw. By adjusting this screw, the crosshair in the telescope is sharpened. Okay. In focusing of eyepiece, we have to sharpen this crosshair so that distinct signals can be observed while sighting the object. Okay, this is called as focusing of eyepiece. And the last step of temporary adjustment is focusing of object. For focusing of object, we use focusing screw. It is done to bring the image of object exactly in the plane of crosshair. This is why focusing of object is kept out. These are the five steps of temporary adjustment of dumpy level. After doing these steps, we can take our first staff reading. Okay. That's all about this lecture. I hope you all understand what is leveling, what are the aims and applications of leveling, what are the various instruments used in leveling like dumpy level, leveling staff, etc. And temporary adjustment steps of dumpy level. See you soon in the next lecture.